everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Cubica AMF Tech Tip Podcast. This is a weekly podcast where we take you on a journey through the fascinating world of bowling technology and beyond. And as always, I am your host, Orly, and I am very privileged to once again have on the famous John Kilpatrick. <laughs> famous. I don't know about that, but uh, but thank you for having me back on. I, I certainly seem to, to be becoming a regular. I right? appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you coming on. You know, sometimes it's hard to get some guests and you're always willing to take some time to, uh, to come on the show. And, and the cool always. thing is it's, it's my show. So I can say famous. I can say whatever I want. Right. I mean, it's, I mean pretty much my show for the most part. <laughs> well, John, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Today. Uh, today, what I want to talk about was I was kind of curious to know, um, within conquer, if you're able to set up, let's say you are, you know, you have a staff member, that's taken an order, took an order, and then they go to walk away to do something. They leave the register unattended. You know, you don't want somebody just coming up and popping the open register button, you know, and, and, and doing something or you never know, yeah. you know, some kid might yeah. get on there and start hitting buttons. I mean, everyone's front counter is a little different, but sometimes your register is just right there in the open. Is there a way to, you know, put kind of a lock on that or maybe locks out after so much time? Um, and if so, oh. if you could kind of explain how to do that. Yeah, certainly, certainly there is uh there is a way we can do that. Um, it's in part of the basic settings within within center setup, uh, but there is a way that we can set an automatic safe mode. That means that the that conquer will automatically uh, log someone out and put it into safe mode uh, after a certain amount of time has passed. Um, so let's uh, let's get there first, okay. and then we can have a little talk about how we set that up. All right. So as uh, as I always say, hopefully our uh, listeners are sitting in, are sitting in front of their conquer terminal. Uh, this one's going to follow the usual path. Uh, we're going to go to our home screen and we're going to hit setup. And again, the good news center setup is right here on your main screen. Uh, we're going to click that. And once center setup opens, um, right at the very top of the page, uh, we have the settings for security. So in order for this to work, one, you're going to have to turn security on when you do that. That means that you're going to, in Conquer, end up having to set up user profiles that define what your employees can and can't do within Conquer, uh, as well as creating a login for each of your uh, each of your employees. Right. And uh, with that, it's pretty simple. You, it's just username and password. If you guys get one of, one of our fingerprint readers, uh, you can make it where they just use their fingerprint. And if you have full FBT you can actually create a login card that you just swipe for your uh, employees to log in. So it gives you some cool options there. Do we have, uh, do we have eye scanner yet? Can we do that? Cause that sounds, uh, I don't think we've got retinal <laughs> scanners yet. I don't think right, we've got right, retinal scanners yet. <laughs> we're, we're getting too far into Michelin mission impossible there. Let's, uh, let's, let's dial it back just a second. Um, so yeah, so you're here, you've, uh, you've, you're in center setup and you've, uh, you've enabled security. Uh, that's going to turn on some other options for you as well. Uh, if you do time tracking through Conquer, you can make it where every time somebody uh, logs into the system, it's going to ask them if they want to clock in or clock out. That one can be, you know, can be helpful as a reminder. Sometimes, though, if you're if you're doing a lot of business or people are sw- are clocking in and out or swiping their names in a lot, it can be a little excessive. Uh, but I still recommend if you're getting a fresh system, give that a try. See what you you know. See what your cut your your employees think. And then right under that, we get to the to get the key of what we're talking about here, which is the automatic safe mode. Uh, automatic safe mode is fantastic. Again, your employee has to go turn around and cook a hamburger. Uh, your front desk employee needs to go down to the lanes and get a deadwood out of the lane. Any any scenario you can think of where somebody might have to walk away, maybe they got to go into the back office and grab some change. That's where this automatic safe mode comes in handy. Most centers that I that we go to usually have somewhere around about a three hundred second or five minute automatic safe mode. Uh, if you're if you're worried and you have concerns about security of your system, somebody walking away, uh, you can dial that down uh, even further. Uh, but some of the issues, like uh, some centers I've I, I've seen, have had it set at like sixty seconds, and be almost a little bit too fast because uh, a guest may ask a question, and through the discussion, you haven't touched Conquer in, th- in sixty seconds, and Conquer has got you where you have to log back in. Um, so maybe sixty seconds is, could be a little a little fast, <laughs> but uh, again, ultimately, it's up to the location to find out. You know, kind of figure out where they're at. 
Uh, I've seen, I have seen some centers have a uh, 10 minutes before it goes into, uh, before it goes into safe mode. And, uh, that one I feel might personally, I feel might be a little bit excessive, uh, cause that's a long time to not really have somebody present yeah. like in front of, in front of conquer and using it. Uh, on the other hand though, you know, I understand it's, you know, you're starting off league, not, you know, you've got your leagues coming in, getting started. And sometimes you spend a lot more time just chit chatting with your customers, yeah. you know, catching up with them and you still need to have access to uh conquer and you may not want to log in. Uh, but on like a busy Friday or Saturday night, you know, five minutes conquer won't turn off because you're going to have your employee there doing transactions, hopefully um, doing enough transactions that it's just not going to go into safe mode. Cause they're not walking away from it. Yeah. Um, some other options for you though, if uh, automatic safe mode is, uh, is, is not the route you want to go. Um, and you just say, Hey, we're going to turn conquer around. It's going to stay on forever. Um, you can think about you know training your staff to either uh, tap their name, which will uh, log them off temporarily without a conquer, and it'll have it on the login screen. That way, people can't hit the open drawer button. Okay. Or, like we mentioned last week, uh, you can also have uh, safe mode added to your quick buttons menu and train your staff to uh, to tap that button uh, before they leave as well, which will which will p- password protect that screen. Perfect. You know, and I and I don't mean to say this in a you know bad way, but yeah, depending on it could be maybe the area you live in. You know, sometimes you just never know where you know some centers. Uh, you know, they might be where they've had something happen like that, or somebody. And you never know. Somebody. I watch a lot of movies. Somebody might try to distract (laughs) you and take you away from the register while somebody else is hanging out. So you know that that locks. That's that's a very important thing. It's it's true. It's true. It's uh again you know. Every center has got to operate within their own comfort zone when it yeah. comes down to the security of, of their finances, the security of their system. And um, again, this is one way that you can, you can really kind of hone in uh, to, to each, each, uh, each center and say, Hey, what do we feel like is a comfortable amount of safety and security for our system? Yeah. And uh, the old saying, it's better to be safe than sorry. Right. I agree with you there. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I always, I always recommend when I'm out in the field training, I always uh, recommend siding on the edge of caution just because, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we can control, but what we can't control is other people. Yeah. Well, John, I appreciate you coming on today. And I think this is an important one. You know, if, if it could help, you know, save someone from having some kind of something bad happen like that, some money being taken from register or just something going wrong with their system. Um, and it's not even just about the money. You never know. A kid could come start pressing buttons and mess up something, you know, or, shut yeah. down your lanes or you just never know what could happen. So mm-hmm. again, it's better to be safe than sorry. So like I said, I think this was an important one today. Hopefully it helps out some people and they're able to get this set up. Um, yeah. And if there, if anyone ever has questions, feel free to email uh, or reach out to us and we get some more help in depth, a little bit more in depth help if needed. Um, so again, um, until next time, John, I do appreciate you coming on the show and yeah, uh, definitely. hopefully we have you back again soon. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. We'll talk to everyone soon. Bye-bye.